just merely owning a copy of a song doesn't give you the right to attach it to another project. Hi, this is Bruce Humblau with BSVP on site. We're here at SES Chicago talking with Dias Saper, the noted attorney here in Chicago. What have you found with social media and legal issues online? Hi Bruce, thanks for giving me an opportunity to answer these questions. I think the biggest confusion out there with marketers is this concept of fair use, what they can and can't repurpose from a copyright law perspective. And so we get a lot of questions about whether or not it's legal to repurpose content found elsewhere on the internet for blog entries or for contests. Additionally, another area of concern is online reputation management, how to handle negative customer feedback on, on social media, what the appropriate response is, and when should legal get involved. I'd say those are the two major areas that we see on a regular basis in my practice. So overall, so if I find a video on YouTube or I find a, a nice little song on iTunes and I can buy it for 99 cents and put it in my video and use that, right? Absolutely not. Just merely owning a copy of a song doesn't give you the right to attach it to another project. You're going to get the uh, publisher or the record label or whoever owns that song or content come after you and ask you to remove it. Unless, of course, it's been donated to the public domain, in which case you can, but again, many, many companies and individuals are confused about the difference between what is fair use and what is considered a donation to the public domain, which is what we try to answer when they give us a call. So are you familiar with uh, YouTube now offering music to their users? And how can we that can incorporate with their music? Well, the, the music industry is changing rapidly with, with uh, companies like Spotify and no longer needing to actually pay for each song in order to hear it on the internet. So I, I, I'm, the business models with music are ever evolving and I think it's up to clients and individuals, businesses, what have you, to really do their homework before they commit to music or song and understand the source of that music or song in order to know whether or not they can freely incorporate it into their projects. So if our viewers have more questions, how can they contact you? They can uh, visit us at saperlaw.com or just give us a call. Uh, the contact information is on saperlaw.com. Thank you. This is Bruce Himmelblau with BSVP Onsite.